What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Investing Trade with Jax. We're going to go over our friend Matic. Uh, currently sitting at 87 cents, down 6.05 on the day. We're seeing a market cap of 7.49 billion. 24 hour volume, 741 million. Bumped up a little bit here with this dump. So we're going to jump over into the chart analysis. We'll start here on the one hour time frame. So the bullish wave count that we mentioned previously is that we've come up in a wave one. And now we've dumped basically down into our wave two. In between the 0.5 to 0.618 would be the ideal tar uh, target zone for a wave two pullback if this bullish count is going to play out. If we come down and we lose 82 cents, it makes it less likely. But of course, a wave two can retrace 90% of wave one. So the bullish count is that we've come up in a wave one here in green. We've seen a wave two pullback and now we're pushing up in our wave three. And within our wave three, we've completed our wave one and now we're seeing a wave two pullback. That will be invalidated if we do come down and lose 79 cents for our friend Matic. This bearish divergence for creating higher highs, lower highs in the RSI has played out as uh, we expected here with most of our coins so if we look at this chart this is the wave count that i'm watching that i think is more likely it's a bit tough with matic uh, matic could definitely put in that wave five to the upside come up and break these highs because it's an altcoin and it's much more volatile so bitcoin sees a little bit of a bounce sometimes altcoins can just take off on their own so that is something to watch but the wave count i'm looking at here is that let me drop out my indicators is that um this is a wave four pullback we're coming down in a wave five we've had a perfect wave two reject rejection so if we do come down and we lose that low at about 79 cents that would be more confirmation we're coming down in a wave three with a target of 41 cents to the downside put in a wave four see that win final wave five to take us down in between 18 and 25 cents for matic which i think is likely all right guys i've been saying that for quite some time now and that is still what I'm looking at. Um, we broke down from this ascending channel. As I mentioned, we do have support here uh, where I've dropped in these lines. I'll probably change these to ranges instead of lines. But we do have support in this area, support right here, resistance back here. Um, so that could give a good opportunity for Matic to find support and potentially bounce at 83 cents. We were creating higher highs while creating lower highs on the daily RSI. And I do think that bearish divergence will play out. I don't think we've bought him for Matic. Personally, I still think there's one more wave down and your resistance to watch is up here at about $1.03, $1.04. So that's basically it for this little update. Uh, potentially, we could bounce in between 82 to 86 cents. We are back down to oversold, which can indicate um, that we'll see a bounce back to the upside. If we scroll back here, you see when you're oversold, you see a bounce. Uh, right here, where you're oversold, we saw a bounce. So when you reach those oversold levels, the money flow comes down to the bottom section. There is a good likelihood of seeing a bounce. But if we do fail to break this high, then what we could be looking at is just a wave one down. Then what we could be looking at here is um, that we're seeing a wave one of the wave three and we're beginning the impulsive move to the downside. It really depends if we hold 82, 83 cents or if that support is lost, especially if we lose 79 cents, would give us more confirmation that we are gonna see that move to the downside. But if we can bounce from this level in between 82 and 86 cents, of course, we could still see an ABC correction where we come down an ABC into a wave two before seeing continuation to the upside. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if we hold this level of support or if we come down and lose 79 cents. Um, it's a little bit tough to call for Matic. I don't want to be overly bearish or overly bullish here. I think there's about a 50-50 chance of us pushing up into a wave five or simply coming down here. Usually I would show you guys what I think is more probable, um, but Matic, I think it's about a 50-50 chance that we could potentially push up in a wave five. We'll see if Ethereum and Bitcoin um, show strength and show a decent sized bounce here. Bitcoin could bounce up into a wave C and that could cause Matic to come up and break these highs, but we'll see what happens here over the course of the next couple weeks. All right, guys, I think that's basically it for this update. Big shout out to the Discord. Over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. At the $10 membership, you can get my exact entries, excess, and take profits. Currently making some juicy gains on um, a Bitcoin short position. We'll see how it plays out. And uh, over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. All right, guys, you can sign up through the Patreon link. Make sure to check out Bybit. Awesome rewards, 4,000 blasts off bonus for 13 more days you can watch my full length tutorial and uh, i'll see you in the next video all right much love take care mm -hmm.